California gym owners recently had to adjust when masks in the state became required regardless of vaccination status. Rob Nesbitt shows us how one gym has created a socially distant solution. Good focus. At least six feet apart. Pushing harder and harder. And one member at a time. The eight workout pods at the yard in San Francisco were a big draw for member Trey Hutchinson. Good to go. He tried making the best out of home workouts during the pandemic, but was never satisfied with his progress. When COVID hit, I started stocking up on equipment for my apartment, uh, but there's only so much space you can get for like battle ropes or obviously like a tire to flip. He didn't want to be in a crowded public gym during the surge of Omicron cases. He signed up for a membership at the yard three weeks ago, feeling comfortable with the limited number of people inside. Like I've been really conscious of you know, public health, and uh, it's kind of kept me out of the gym for the better part of the last two years. So finding a place that cares about it, I think is really important to me. Going down into a squat. He works out with trainer Elliot Kionez, who rents a pod space the same way some barbers rent their chair spaces. Seven, three more. No sharing equipment between pods and no questioning if things have been wiped down after use. You have your own set of dumbbells, you have your own barbell, you have your own squat rack, and it kind of brings a sense of security to most of my clients. Good control, good balance. Owner Joe Cicero opened the gym the middle of December when Omicron cases were beginning to rise, and, uh, but with a pod system already in place to prevent spread. Having this socially distanced, semi-private space uh, that's sanitized between each use gives a lot of uh, sense of security and safety. Precautions that have attracted around 50 members and 10 trainers good. who all wanted to work out with gym equipment, but without the gym crowds.